the winter months bring those colder temperatures to mid-Missouri, some low-income families are placed in financial strain just to keep their homes heated. Tonight, ABC 17's Joe McLean looked into one resource the state offers to make sure no one is left in the cold. And Joe, applications for the program are now being accepted. They are, Daniel. It's called the Low Income Housing Energy Assistance Program, or LIHEAP. It helps families who are struggling financially pay their utility bills. The program's busier than you might think, especially this time of year. To, to help people with their energy costs during the winter, uh, it's an income-based program. Everyone wants to keep their home warm during the coldest months, but it can be costly. A, a lot of people are living on fixed incomes, like I said, the elderly and disabled, and they often have to make some tough decisions as to whether or not they're going to uh, get groceries or take their medicine or pay their utility bills. One woman I spoke to who will call Shanna tells me winter is the most expensive time of the year. You know, I have a disabled son that and I had to go down to part time so I mean that could mean you know either my bill being paid or food on the table you know. Shanna has been getting assistance from the low income housing energy assistance program for the last few years. That program has helped me pretty much every year with it so because of that program I I haven't had to shut off. Central Missouri Community Action provides assistance to more than 7,000 mid-Missouri families every year. They do that by distributing more than a million dollars. This is just an opportunity to help them out um, so that they don't um, not have heat. And, Daniel, there are, of course, uh, certain requirements one has to meet to qualify for assistance, uh, including the household income must be below 135 percent of poverty, and it must have less than $3,000 in resources. Live in the Jefferson City Newsroom, Joe McLean, ABC 17 News. Thank you, Joe. The program started accepting applications from the public on Monday. We're told the Community Action Office has already processed more than 3,000.